Hi, it's the Brook of That Gratitude Guy. The best is yet to come. My pastor, Pastor Dan, always signs off with that line, the best is yet to come. And I started thinking about it one day and I thought, you know, I think he's right. Because I think about the continuity in our life or the ups and downs that we go through in life. And if you notice, if you stick with something, everything always tends to work out if you just stick with it. And I truly think the best is yet to come. And I think one of the things I've noticed when I talk to people and do uh, speeches and presentations and so forth, they go, well, that's easy for you to say because you've come out on the other side. I said, well, yes, I have. And yes, I've been through a lot. But why is the best yet to come? I add my faith and my gratitude and I put them together and it seems to be an unbeatable combination. I think about this gratitude journal and how every day it focuses me on everything I'm grateful for in my life and everything I have versus what I don't have. And I truly think the best is yet to come. I do believe that. I think back years ago, I think it was Joe Namath with the uh, New York Jets, maybe in the 60s or 70s. And he said, I can't wait till tomorrow because I get better looking every day. So there's so many things that looking forward. I think the good Lord put our eyes in the front of our head to look forward and not look back. Learn a few lessons from behind us, but apply them and mostly look forward. So think about that and think about when you're being grateful and you're writing in that gratitude journal that I truly believe the best is yet to come. And if you utilize your faith and utilize gratitude, I think that'll be true for you as well. That's it for today. Have a grateful day. We'll see you tomorrow.